Hello teacher and friends. Today I would like to represent my club to study the club work completed in the past term. The topic of this report is Design a nonlinear controller for six degree of freedom manipulator and experiment with the guidance of Dr. John Bittin. My group had three members are John Minh Phuc, Tong Hai Ninh, and Ha Thanh Bình. The presentation consists of six parts as follows. The first is forward kinematic, second is inverse kinematic, third is dynamic of six dot manipulator, fourth is computer talk controller, fifth is singularity problem, and the last is conclusion. Part 1 forward kinematic. In this slide, we show the way how we set the coordinate axis for a choice with the length value are annotated as below. So that we can proceed to put the dynamic Hartenberg table. From the coordinate axis of the robot, we can find that the dynamic Hartenberg parameter like, like that. After we have the data table, we substitute the value into the displacement matrix T. Then we get a matrix representing the kinematic of the robot. The next part is inverse kinematic. It's tablet the general form of the transformation matrix equation from forward kinematic. Like that. We multiply both sides by the inverse matrix of them. After that, we get the equation like that. Identify an equation on both sides to find the theta entry for the inverse kinematic problem. From equation 3.4, find out the first theta we had to solution. From equation 1.4 and 2.4, find out the second theta had two solution and uh, third theta had a solution. From equation 1.2 and 2.2, find out the fourth theta had a solution and the fifth theta had two solutions. From equation 3.1 and 3.3, find out the sixth theta had a solution. Finally, there are eight solution kits were found out from the inverse kinematic problem. In part 3, we conduct to solve the dynamic of robot. There are seven implementation steps to solve this problem. The first step, we determine the mass and send choice the system of each link and the moments of inertia of each choice from the solid work model. The second step, we determine the central position from origin coordinate 0 to E of each link. The third step, we determine the linear velocity from the origin 0 to i of each choice and rotational velocity of each choice. The fourth step, we calculate the value of kinetic and potential energy of the system. The fifth step, we calculate the Lagrange equation. And the sixth step, we calculate the euler lagrange equation. The last step, we transfer euler lagrange equation to the equation of state form, standard form. The relate body dynamic have the form like that, M, C, G, and F is top. Where M is an inertia metric of the manipulator, C is a vector of current and viscous term, G is a vector of gravity term, and F is a model of friction. In part 4, we conduct to be a computer talk controller. From the closed system, we have a controller with a controller like that, where KP and KV are diagonal gain matrix, E equal by the set point theta extract theta. E is a vector of the error in position and E dot is a dif differentiate of E. E is a vector of the error in velocity. After we have the controller, we proceed to prove the system E is stable. Combined with the dynamic of the robot, then we have the equation like that. The total energy of the system is given by the equation as follows. Risk V is always positive. Differentiating yields, we have V dot. 
and the result is always negative. Therefore, the reactive Brunner function V is always positive and result is negative, which is non-positive as long as K KV is positive defined. So, the system is reactive Brunner stability. After proof the system is stable, we conduct to design a model of computed torque control on simulating from dynamic equations. There are eight blocks right there. This is a translator planning block. Parameter in team initial block. Main block. Compare comparer block. Simscape multibody simulator block, dynamic block, and the friction fork block. The model in Simscape multibody are exported from SolidWorks file. Toggle error between the design dynamics model and the model exported from the solid file. The rotation angel errors. The next part is singularity problem. Analyzing the components of Jacobian matrix J. According to the reference coordinate system 3, we get that where the first k and the second k are called fork and singularity factor. If the first k equal by 0, then the first theta dot go to infinity. At this point, the singularity inside the report appears. If the second k equal by 0, then the second theta and your theta 2 go to infinity. The robot envelope singularity appears. Analyzing the component of Jacobian matrix G according to the reference coordinate system 5, we get that where the third k equal by sin the fifth theta were called Chris singularity factor of robots. If the third k equal by 0, then the four angel theta dot go to infinity and the six, six angel theta dot go to infinity at this point the singularity inside the report appears and in the conclusion according the rep this report we summarize the work that we had completed the first we can analyze robot configuration second we analyze the DS tables and showing forward kinematic. Uh, the next one, we can read the scientific paper to find a solution to the inverse kinematic problem, analyze robot dynamic, apply the computer torque controller to verify the result between differential equation model and a simscape multibody model, mm, learn about the Jacobian metric, analyze the type of singularity in the six level robot, and find solution to overcome them. And the last, we are learn about campus network overview. In part, I will show you the animation of robot model from SolidWorks run in Simscape sim uh, multibody in MATLAB. Thank you for watching.